Today on Be Something Wonderful, manifesting breakthrough that is a reality game changer. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video this morning. This comes from a, uh, a member's comment. She's a subscriber and a member of the channel. And I want to read the comment. It's on yesterday's video. So if you want to read the comment, it's also posted on the channel under yesterday's video. This member had this question. Could you talk about not feeling responsible for your desire, not needing to make it happen through thoughts, feelings, techniques, etc., because creation's finished. I feel like that was a game changer for me once I let go of responsibility. This comes from one of the members. Big, so she's saying she's had a game changing um, insight into, into the idea of letting go of the responsibility to make something happen with your desire. And we're going to unpack this a lot today, but keep in mind, a desire is not, it, it's not uh, an indicator of something that you don't have or evidence of someone that you're not. On the contrary, a desire is evidence that you are already that person and that you already do have that. That's what a desire is. It, it, it's your awareness making you aware. That, you're all, that that's an infinite identity of you, that that's a reality within you, hear this. But what do we do when we have a desire with, with, our, with our lower rational mind? We go into this state of desiring, believing it's something that we don't have, that it's an indicator of someone that we are not. Do you see it? So, so here's the, the thing, remember, when you're aware of your desire, you're aware of a greater version of you. That's what desire is. It's that divine urge to know more of who you are, to know more of all that you are. So when you have a desire, you're, when you're aware of a desire, you're aware of a greater version of you. But we translate that, we interpret that with our lower mind as someone that we're not yet, something that we have to do something about to get or manifest, or have, or attract into our life. It's already you. Creation is finished. When you assume, or in other words, imagine and affirm whatever process that you enjoy, remember you are the process, you are that conviction. When you assume and accept its fulfillment, it creates the experience of being it. And your experience of reality is reality. See, you already are it, but how do you experience those infinite versions of yourself? You create the experience of it because your experience of reality is reality. There's all, only all that is. The simultaneity of reality means it's happening all at the same time. So you create that experience by putting your awareness on it, by accepting its fulfillment, right? Versus looking at it as something that you have to attract or get or struggle for. So you, and, but what do we do? We stay desiring and trying to fulfill conditions, right? That creates the experience of non-fulfillment and not already being it. You just create that experience of not being it. You create that experience of desiring. You create that experience of non-fulfillment, but you already are it. So it's about creating the experience or affirming or putting your awareness on, accepting that you're already that person you desire to be. We're gonna, we're gonna unpack these ideas today and more. So in the moment you have a desire, in other words, that you're aware of a desire, because that's what it is, it's awareness of a desire, and assume, or in other words, imagine and affirm, or assume and accept its fulfillment, you are now that new version of yourself occupying your desired reality. You're it anyway, but you're now having the experience of it. Do you see this? I wanted to show this to you today because this is big. Here you are in the horizontal experience. You have a preferred reality, a preferred experience. That's that dotted violet figure there, that preferred version. And here you are in your current version. Nothing wrong with your current version, but now you have a desire to be, to, to, to be something different or experience something different or have something different. Well, the reality is you are that already. 
So it's about, it's about creating that experience from, and, 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 and creating that experience here. So do you see it? You become, you're not becoming somebody different. You're becoming more aware of all that you are. You see, you are that preferred version and you are that current version, but you're looking out this current version and this current version is your experience, but you're all of it. You're this. So it's about you becoming more aware of who you are. So when you become aware of it and accept it, that desire as fulfilled, then you become that new version, but that new version is even greater, hear this, than that preferred version. Because it's a common, because you never lose the old version or your current version of yourself. You just become more aware, hear this, of both versions, of all versions of who you are. Do you see it? That old, that current version is still there, but you're now more aware of him who you are. Instead of looking around here in the horizontal experience, going, how do I get there? Where is it? Where's the evidence? Like Moses inspecting the burning bush, looking around for evidence. Your I am is saying, here I am. Right? Here I am. That's why Mo when God calls to Moses, 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 and Moses says, here I am. Here I am. That's your acceptance of the fulfillment. When you have a desire, you accept it immediately. You assume it. And then you are it. You have that greater perspective already. But what happens is we, we look here, down in the horizontal experience, believing we've got to do something to get there. When we already are there, we're already all versions. A desire is just your awareness of being, putting your awareness on, on another uh, infinite identity that you are, another part of all that is another possibility that's within you. That's powerful today. <laughs> so the only question then is where are you in your awareness? Here I am, as Moses answered. Here I am. Where are you in your awareness and your acceptance of your new greater identity and reality? Do you see it? Because you could be aware of a desire, and, but then put your awareness on the desiring of it on the absence of it, create the experience of the absence of it, create the experience of that non-fulfillment. Or you can be aware of it and accept it. Remember, awareness is reality. So you, but you, but you create your experience of that reality, of that awareness. So you're, you, are you trying to believe it? In other words, are you stuck in desiring it? Trying to get, trying to believe that you can be this person, right? Are you looking for evidence out there? Are you investigating the conditions from the current version of yourself where you will never find it and, and or will you never find it there? That's like Moses inspecting the burning bush. Moses, Moses, here I am. He answers, right? He answers to God, here I am. Are you investigating the conditions? You'll never find it there. Or will you do this? Will you affirm, here I am? and experience the reality from that greater identity and vantage point. Experience it from here, here I am, versus looking around here trying to get there, trying to, to, trying to do processes to get there, trying to acquire it, manifest it, right? That's big. Remember, awareness is your experience. So you can, in a, remember, an experience of reality is being aware of your reality, of your preferred reality. You experience the reality that's already there. It's not about creating it or manifesting it. Creating is, creation's finished. It's about being aware of it and accepting that as your experience. Do you see it? Instead, we, we're aware of, of our desire. Then we move into desiring it, not, not accepting it as fulfilled, not creating the experience of fulfillment, and instead, we're creating the experience of non-fulfillment, of desiring it, of looking for it out there in the conditions, right? That's why in script, remember, what is awareness? Awareness is your experience of reality. There's only awareness. So it's how you experience. Are you going to experience as fulfillment or non-fulfillment? Are you going to experience as that person that you already are and already have the things you want? Or are you going to experience as, as looking, out, looking out there in the 3D conditions and desiring it? right? Awareness is absolute faith and belief. We pointed to this yesterday. There was a few subscribers 
that, that it rang their bell as well, that they understood this as well, and they wrote some comments. But understand that it's absolute faith. That's what awareness is. When you're aware of something, it, that's the truth. There are no other facts but your awareness. That's reality. So it's not about trying to believe it. It's, it's, it's deciding, choosing what are you aware of and what are you accepting as your reality within that awareness. According to your faith, let it be to you. In Matthew 9, 29, according to your awareness, according to your experience of reality, let it be to you. That's what they're saying there. That's powerful. So, and then again, Jesus to the centurion, uh, to the, when he heals the centurion's servant, he says, go your way as you have believed, let it be done for you as you have been aware of as you have accepted as your reality. Stop looking around for the evidence. Stop desiring. Go your way. Instead of go your way, and instead of staying here and desiring it, go your way. Be that reality. Accept it as your new experience, your new identity, your new, and your new reality. You are now, remember, when you do that, you are now more than you were right? More aware of the infinite being that you are. That's the power and gift. Hear this. That's the power and gift of desire, right? That divine urge to know yourself. You weren't meant to stay in desiring. That's why Jesus says, go your way. The power of desire is to make you aware of that, that, that you're already that person you desire to be. <laughs> you see, you already have it. That's what a desire is. It's a divine urge to know yourself as source, to know those other identities. That's why Jesus in the chosen says, so let's go, get up, pick up your mat and walk. In other words, don't stay in desiring and wanting it. Get up and walk. Get up and, and, and be it. Here I am, right? The moment you have a desire, right? Know that it's fulfilled or you wouldn't have it. It has to be fulfilled. That's what a desire is. A desire is an indicator of that, of that infinite, another infinite version of you, an, an, another life of you that's going on right now. It's a spillover from realities, right? That you're living right now. They're, they, they're not in the past. They're all happening right now. It's a spillover saying, yeah, that you're already living that. There's a version of you living that. So it's, it's not meant to be stay in desiring. It's meant to know that you're already that, right? The moment you have a desire, it's fulfilled. It has to be. Otherwise, you would, there are, there's no such thing as an unfulfilled desire. That's called desiring. And that doesn't really exist. We create the experience of this. It's coming out in a different way today. You're, you're creating the experience of desiring. A desire is fulfilled. That's why Neville Goddard said to desire a state is to have it. There is no such thing as an unfulfilled desire. You can create that idea and that's called desiring. And that's not reality. That's what you create in that horizontal linear experience looking for fulfillment there. That's big today, right? It, it's impossible. To, to have an unfulfilled desire. Hear this, it's impossible to have an unfulfilled desire. Does that, but you can create the experience. Okay, you can create that impossible experience of, having, of desiring, of having a desire that's unfulfilled. It can't be. A desire is an indicator of that another infinite you that already exists, a spillover from a reality that, you're li that a version of you is already living and reveling in. This is powerful today. So that's, why Nev that's what Neville got it meant when he said to desire a state is to have it, right? And when I speak, and he also says, when I speak of feeling, I do not mean emotion, right? When he said feeling of wish fulfilled, he's referring to, but the acceptance of the fact that it is fulfilled. There it is again. It's the acceptance of that fact. Do you see it? The desire is always fulfilled. They're one and the same. You create that experience of non-fulfillment, of desiring, right? So stop waiting to feel it until you can be it. Be aware and accept you already are it. This points to our, 
to the member's question, the subscriber member's question. But you know, stop waiting to feel something or, or to think something or to do something to, or to do a process to, to accept it as fulfilled right now. Be aware and accept you already are it. That's why Jesus in the chosen again, in that show, the chosen, I don't need you to feel anything to do great things. I don't need you to feel anything to be who you already are, right? Your awareness of being and what you are aware of, except as who you are, are the only facts that matter. Hear it again. Your awareness of being and what you are aware of and accept as who you are right now are the only facts that matter. There are no facts outside of that. Do you really hear this? You're looking out there in that horizontal reality calling those facts that I'm desiring it and I can't see it, so that has to be a fact. Who you are aware of being as your awareness is the only fact, it's the only reality that matters. Like Alice in Wonderland, I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. You were, meaning she's saying I'm a di I was a different version. You're, you're now more than you were because of that desire, hear this, <laughs> this is so big, because of that desire, you're already more than you were. You have to be, right? You are always that, but now you're more aware of the more that you are. You're now aware of it. So don't stay here desiring it, move to it, declare it, here I am. You were, remember, you can't go back to that old version because you're more than that version now. You're more than you were. You're more aware of who you are. That's powerful. <laughs> so you don't lose any one version of you. Rather, you become more aware of the infinite versions of you, which makes you a greater version of you, the new you. Do you see it? So you don't lose any of those. You're more than the preferred version. You're more than the current version. You're all versions, right? So you don't lose any one. You just become more aware of who you are. Alice in Wonderland, again, the past, 24 hours, but, but, I'm gonna, but she says the past have changed me so much that it's as if the earlier adventures, in other words, what she's saying, the earlier experiences of reality, because that's all reality is. It's experiences. Experience is reality. Those earlier experiences didn't even happen to me at all, but another version of myself. Alice lays it out here. <laughs> right, that was a wonderland, but another version of myself. It was well, because it was. It's not, you're, you're different than who you were. You're greater than that version that experienced that reality. When we talk about past experiences, you're no longer that person. You're greater than that person. It doesn't, matter. It doesn't mean that you don't see it, that, that, that the experience is erased from all that you are. But now that you know that you're more than it, you don't have to dwell on it if it wasn't a pleasant experience or even if it was a traumatic experience because you're more than that now. You're the combination of all experiences. Do you see this? You have to dwell on anything. You don't have to hold on to anything, right? This is what happens in every moment. You become, hear this, you become a greater version of yourself, but you can create the experience that you're not by, by staying stuck in the desiring and the non-acceptance when you have a desire. And we call that desiring. <laughs> or you can accept that desire and know that if you're having that desire, you're there, you're it, you have it. You stand in that knowing, that's powerful. That's the manifesting breakthrough that really is a reality game changer. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on the videos, for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful for joining us on our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at be something wonderful and for being part of the membership channel. We just released a massive video on the membership channel just a day or two ago. And we have a live stream on the membership channel this Saturday morning, our third 
live event of the year to be broadcast on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. I'm going to come to you live right here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas to talk about the topics and questions that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com and to answer some questions on the chat in the live event. So if you're a member, join us. If you're not a member and want to check it out, there's a link below. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen in the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.